Hey everyone, this is your 5-Minute Daily Devotional. Today's scripture verse comes from Hebrews chapter 13, verse 7. It reads as follows. Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. I think that it's important for each of us to have people in our lives that we can look up to and be inspired by. This is not necessarily meaning celebrities or actors or athletes, though there are very fine people in those people groups. But God gives us people all around us, whether we know them or not, whether they're famous or not. And in a way, I sort of think that older people can be a blessing. They can be a gift to us because they are a few steps ahead of us so they can show us what to do and what not to do to avoid making mistakes and to take the right path, just as we can show younger people the same thing. I think of Billy Graham when I think about this sometimes and how he ministered the word of God literally for decades and we never read about a scandal. I mean, we never read that he cheated on his wife. He instituted that rule known as the Billy Graham rule where he would not be alone with a woman who was not his wife at any time. I read his autobiography and he made one exception to that rule in his years of ministry and that was when then First Lady of Arkansas, Hillary Rodham Clinton, asked to meet with him. He told her about his rule, and so they decided to meet for lunch in a very open public space so that she could talk to him. I mean, he gave, he served, he loved, he ministered, he helped, he was just there for people. He just preached the word of God without a scandal, without an issue. He just loved people. I see that. I see this leader who taught me the word of God, who taught many the word of God, who lived this wonderful scandal-free life, this wonderful pure life of devotion to God, and I want to imitate that. Remembering our leaders, though, can also work in advance because I can think of a number of ministers and preachers who preached the word of God to a lot of people and started out helping a lot of people, but they fell into sin, unfortunately, and that thing just unraveled them and their lives and their ministry so, so quickly. We can learn from that as well. I can sort of see that and think, Lord, please help me. Please bless them. Please forgive them. Please also help me, Lord, not to fall into temptation, not to fall into sin. Who is around you? Who are your leaders? They, yes, very well could be preaching the word of God. They could be ministering and teaching the word of God like I'm doing now. Or they could be in business or finance or in sports or in the home or in your neighborhood or in community or in your church. They could be right around you. Ask God to show you qualities in leaders that are around you that you admire, that you can imitate, that you can be inspired by, and also to show you qualities that you should pray about not falling into, not going that way you should avoid. There are people in finance that I look up to and I think, you know what, I like the way that they do things. I like their mythology. I imitate that. I want to learn from that. I want to grow in that area. I've seen other leaders around me that haven't treated people well at all. And I think, Lord, please help me to remember not to treat people in such a way, to be good to people. I forgive them. I love them. I bless them in Jesus' name. But help me to remember, God, to treat them as you want me to treat them. We are all a gift to each other, the older and the younger, the more successful, the less seasoned. I can tell you a lot of what I share with you guys on these devotionals are mistakes that I have personally made because I don't want you to repeat those same mistakes. A lot of what I learned from other people out there, it's from the mistakes that they have made that I don't need to sort of repeat because I'm following what they say. I will close with one thought though. Those who are ministering in the word of God, those who are leaders, in teaching the word of God, of sharing God's message, I can tell you, yes, absolutely. We want to learn from them. We want to imitate them. We want to be inspired by them. But we also want to pray for them because they are, we are prime attacks for the enemy because of who we represent, because we represent the Lord Jesus Christ. The enemy likes nothing more than to see the people of God, the men and women of God, fall into sin, into temptation. So we should always pray for them. Remember your leaders learn from their mistakes, consider the outcome of their life, imitate their faith, and always pray for them. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the reminder, God, that yes, Lord, there are people you have placed all around us that we can look up to, that we can learn from, that we can be inspired by, that we can grow because of their lives, Lord, that we can imitate their faith, God. We can consider the outcome of their lives. We can learn from them as they teach the word of God or teach the 
gift that you have given them, God, and we can learn from them, God, so that we don't have to walk out those same mistakes that they made. God, help us to grow in this area. God, give us, yes, people we admire all around us, God. Raise up leaders around us that we can learn from, God, whether close to us, God, or from afar, God, that we can learn from and we can grow in the areas in which we need to grow. We especially pray for those leaders in who are ministering the word of God in ministry, God, who are ministering your word, that you would cover and protect them, God, surround them with your favor as a shield of protection, Lord, and help them to stay true to you, God, and to what you've called us to do. We love you, God, and we honor you in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. I would appreciate it, and I would love to have you guys. Guys, have a great day. God loves you so much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time, and God bless you.